Hey there, Turtle Academy friends. I bring you Lesson 5 of Turtle Academy. Remember when you line in, you sign in, you can use your Google account. And then click on your username when it pops up so that you can find the file you've been working on. I had asked you to name it logo with your initials. When you've got that, if you've done the previous four lessons, you should have all of those awesome commands. Your house should look like this, and if you're in my class trying to get a grade right now, this is a little better than a 70% when you've got the house and the sun that equals 70%. So each piece after is worth two more percent. So here's 72, 74, 76, 78 percent with where you're at right now. Today, I'm going to teach you how to paint, and painting works like this. First, you need to find the location that you want to paint. I want to paint inside my door. So use the XY command, and I remember that our door was 20 over, so I'm going to go 25 over and I'm going to go 5 up, and I'm going to run the code and see how the turtle is in the door. And you got to make sure that the turtle is inside your shape. Then type set color and pick the color you want. I'm using this blue from the list. And then always do X, Y space, zero space, zero, so the turtle comes back to the beginning of the project. When you run your code now, it fills the door with the awesome blue. To continue this process, you just keep doing X, Y. You move to a new location. I remember that this is 10 over and 30 up. So I'm going to go uh, 13 over and I'm going to go 35 up. I'm going to just copy my code from before, but I'm going to pick a different color. So control C and control V. And I'm going to try color number two. And I'm going to make sure that when I run it, it fills in the right spot. Check it out. Filled it in like a ninja. And you just continue to create these codes to paint your house. When the codes are perfect, cut them. Scroll up to the house command and paste them after the word garage. I'm going to space those over so they line up the way I want and continue to use that strategy to make your project even more epic. Speaking of epic, let's make a word called sky. Type TO space sky, press enter twice and type end because we always have to have our beginning and our end. And then type XY negative 300 zero. When you type sky below and run it, notice the turtle moves to the exact edge. That's because I know that we've got 600 uh, in space, 600 units of space, and we've got 200 up. So then I want you to draw a rectangle that is 200 high by 600 wide. We need to set the color to the blue we appreciate or any color you want. I'm going to use 11 for aqua. And then we need to get inside the shape just like we did before. This one's super easy. We're just going to do the X, Y. And so that we don't bump into any of our other objects, let's go negative 298. And let's go 10 up in the air so that we're not touching anything. And let's type fill. And a new thing I want to remind you is to always set your color back uh, to zero so the rest of your project draws uh, with the black that we were using when we first started. I'm going to scroll up so you can see it happen. Let's run our code and see the sky up here. Now you should color in all your shapes. I'm just teaching you how to get started. Uh, once you've got sky awesome, you can delete it from there and you can go back up to your house program and add it to the bottom of house so that it all happens automatically. Just make sure they always draw before you start painting. Notice I accidentally left the turtle out here. Let's go back to that word sky that we just created and make sure we finish with pen up, home, pen down, which I am going to cheat and now do X, Y space zero, zero, because it's a little shorter to type. But that is the same thing as doing pen up and pen down with the home command, because that's where it is. Our next command is one of my all time favorites. You do have to type it carefully, though. So start typing with me right now. It's called wow. First thing I'm going to do is type 2wow, and then I'm going to type end so that I don't forget that I have to do that. 
And then I'm going to go to the top line and I'm going to put two spaces just so that you remember that you have to have the spaces. And we're going to make a variable called RT1. And then we're going to do two spaces just so you're sure that you do the spaces. And then we're going to do another colon. And this time we're going to make a variable called RP, which is going to stand for the extra repeats. I added my spaces and I'm doing colon L. I'm doing a capital L so you're sure you see it. See it. And I'm doing colon RT2 because to make this excellent program, I need to have two rotations, a cool repeat, and then the length of our shape. The code works like this. Put your CS in and then type repeat. Make sure you spell it R-E-P-E-A-T. And then I'm going to put 100 and I'm going to use the square brackets to say what gets repeated. The command that we need to put in is RT space and I'm going to then do the colon and here's where the RT1 comes into play and after we repeat then we're going to do a second repeat once again making sure we spell that right and this time we're going to do colon RP so this variable is going to say how many sides our shape has that redraws and the shape is going to be created by doing forward and I'm going to do space space just so you see it colon L and then I'll add an extra space and do the command right, followed by colon RT2. And then this is super important. You need two brackets to close it off. So this amazing command wow needs four numbers written after it. And while we're playing with wow, we're going to cancel out house. So that is gone. I'm going to press enter. And then when I type wow, I'm going to give it four numbers to play with. 15. 4, 50, and 90. And when you press enter and click run, check out how amazing your little design is. Now what that did was it did 100 repeats, rotating 15 degrees each time, and it made a four-sided shape with a length of 50 and the corners 90. To try a different one, just click on it and change the numbers. I'm going to change that to 77. I'm going to change the link to 120, and I'm going to make a five-sided shape. Do I have any clue what this makes? No. But what's fun is I hit the button, and I watch my cool shapes appear. And that is why I named it WOW. You can play with that as much as you want, just for fun. Uh, when you're done, of course, get it back to CS House and hit Run so that your project comes back the way it's supposed to be. Don't forget to update your program so it is. Remember, we do save it to the cloud, but we do have to do that often. And I'm going to teach you one more cool command. It's called ellipse. We're going to just clear the house for a minute. And when you do ellipse, it's E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -L -L -E, and then you type two numbers after it. So if I do 20 and I do 100, when I hit run, notice it does a 20 wide by 100 high ellipse. If I change that to 150 and 30, it'll be the opposite direction. That could be a pond. It could be a pool. These can be all kinds of cool things you can use. Let me also show you real quick how fun this is. If you do repeat and pick your number of times you want it to repeat, put your brackets, decide how much you want it to turn each time it makes it. So I'm going to turn 33. And I'm just picking numbers for fun. I don't have a reason. But when I press enter and click run, all of a sudden, and hit run, it should draw many, many of them. But for some reason, mine aren't drawing. One nice thing about this is I'm in contact with the developer, so I can ask him why it's not working. But let me just show you this cool thing we can do. By adding a movement after each time it draws, Click Run and check out what it makes. So, always explore. See what kind of cool things you can come up with. I am going to make this a new word, re word real quick. I'm going to delete the CS. And I'm going to type TO. And I'm going to call that Donut. And then, of course, after the cool command, I need to put my End. And that way I get to keep Donut. And I'm going to put a CS in front of it so that it redraws. And then at the very end of my program, I'm going to put a CS, and I'm going to bring back my house. When I run the program, my house appears. I update the code one more time, and I pat myself on the back for being awesome. 
Thank you guys for following along. I hope you have fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing how cool your Turtle Academy houses are turning out. Uh, share a link. Uh, share the comments. Uh, also, if you make yours public, it will show up on the Awesomes program page. Notice I did say I wanted to leave. And then here is one of my favorite projects I created a long time ago, and it always makes my day still watching it run. Have a great day. And check us out at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and just about anywhere cool things are happening.